Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Yardy Belly. Yardy Belly TV in Yardy Belly Kitchen. It's breakfast live Thursday morning and it's breakfast live Thursday morning. Hold on. Yeah. Hope you're doing good. I hope you're staying safe. Hope you guys are making the best of the situation. We're all in this together, but we have to do what we have to do, right? Lala in the house. Hey, in the house. Demise. Demise. How do you call your name? This Demise or Demise? I know. Demise. I know. Yeah. Good morning to you. Good morning. And as you come on, just go ahead and hit that like button give us a thumbs up and yeah if you're a new viewer and you have not yet subscribed just take a second hit that subscribe button and do the notification bell so that you can stay locked to yard belly tv yeah awesome aj moore long time girl i haven't seen you in a while good morning to you everybody loves niche that's an interesting name good morning to you Good morning, Wayne Wonder. Wayne Wonder. <laughs> Trendy Lioness Couture. Good morning to you. Greetings from US Virgin Islands. US Virgin Islands in the house. Hey, Over Caribbean. there in the house. <laughs> Caribbean in the house. Hey, good morning. I like, I'm seeing a lot of new names this morning. That's amazing. We are so, so happy to have you guys join us you're going to be in for a treat suzanne yakube i hate butchering people's names so if I'm, I'm just going to say the first name the one i'm just going to say the part of the name that i can pronounce without you know massacring it so suzanne good morning to you from senegal senegal in the house africa, africa in the house hey come on that car good morning to you you're gonna say baby baby come on okay don't 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 say b -b 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 come on say you're the baby baby come i on. cannot say it yeah, so you fast. have to say it baby baby come on baby baby, baby, baby come, come on, on. <laughs> baby, baby 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 come on <laughs> all right so baby baby to me it's a tongue twister so yeah baby baby come on all right who else am i missing who am i missing i missed somebody just now no, but yeah, we have a whole host of peeps. Go ahead, like I said, give us a thumbs up. Evelyn Green, good morning. Watching from Curacao in the house. Caribbean is in the house. Come on, Caribbean people. Come on. We doing it this morning. I haven't seen my New Yorkers this morning as yet. So let's see. Let's see. We need to see where they are. But trust me. I am here for it. The main the main chef is doing some administrative work right now, but he will be I'm just sharing. I'm not doing administrative, not administrative work. work. No, that's on to promotional work. Yeah, that's on to to um you know like big things. <laughs> He's a big thing. I don't know. Oh no, I'm the true chef today, you know. No, you're yeah. the you're the main <laughs> chef today. Oh, Tampa in the house. Hey. Hey, hey, in the house. Hey. Tampa, A. Hey. What about Florida? She's. <laughs> We're supposed to be. Oh, Tampa, Florida. everybody from Boston. Boston's in the house. Ah, yeah. Massachusetts. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. No, we no, dropped the ball this morning. You need I don't to, know what's you need going to pick on. It up. Up. Like I, once we said the first part of the place, you need to tell me where it's where, where everybody loves niche. Let us apologize for not doing the Boston's in the house correctly because we, I mean, I don't know what's going you on. You know, they're not seeing you, right? Oh, I know, I know. I'm just uh -huh. I'm just doing my thing on off camera because you okay. are the main chef. I'm supposed to be helping you. Mm. Didn't you not remember? Mm. So, good morning. How are you guys doing? How is everybody? Everybody Sorry, doing it's good? 
Denny's guys from Spanish Harlem, New York. Oh. Denny's Spanish Harlem's in the house. New York's in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. And yeah. you will. Hola, 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 hola. You hear that song good a while ago? No. Wow. You just interrupted the main part of my song. Guys, the beard that come on, it still look a shit, look a dry up here. So, <gasps> up them side a little bit dry, but down here, so I get look a foolish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's getting there. I'm doing a quiz, okay. Oh, that's the real, that's the food. <laughs> and lover. then he says, Sad, <laughs> it's doing a quiz. so guys, this morning, we let, let me just say this, guys, as a disclaimer, it is so difficult to you notice me said difficult, so I'm good. Difficult, yeah, it's so difficult to. <laughs> be making breakfast and doing this thing over and over you don't want to become monotonous you don't want to bore you guys and so every week we have to try to tweak our breakfast a little bit and make it a little bit interesting and and we understand that some people want to see me do you know relatively the same thing over and over however you know so this morning we're taking a, 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 a known ingredient and we're tweaking it to make it a little bit more jamaican little bit more caribbean and uh, we hope you like it now i'm gonna serve it up with a, with a very very classic jamaican um dish but we're just doing that for you know so that we have something to, to have it with as you see in the description box we are making a stuffed fried corn dumpling and this is a a, a spin on another um well-known latin favorite mm -hmm. all right so the wifey is going to take it and she's going to do her tutorial and I will be the sous chef. Um, and then I'll just quickly make the, what do you call it, the meat? The, um, the protein. Provision. The protein. Oh, yeah. The... To go with the staple. The... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while you sit down and have your only, only your eyes alone uh, on the camera. That ca I don't understand how that's showing something different. That's showing because like... that's a bigger camera. Right. So it's actually picking me up more. Um, Lashan said you're the dumpling master. No, get it right. It's a dumpling queen. <laughs> no, will you get up? <laughs> get up, guys. Can you speak her? She has no behavior in this. All right, guys, to the food because we're not here for fun and jokes. All right, right. So, these are the ingredients. Can you get rid of your stuff? Can you show them my stuff so I can start cutting up while you're doing your stuff? All right, so. For the um, the meat kind, we are doing bole beef. No, we're doing cheese and lard helper. <laughs> Any, <laughs> anybody who ever heard of bully beef, let me know. But we're doing corned beef, a.k.a. bully beef. And no, a.k.a. corned beef. There's no such thing as bully beef. Bully beef is a brand. Uh, am I am I going crazy? Is there not something called bully beef? You it's guys? a brand. It's oh, a particular brand yeah. of corned beef. But, but still, it, it it is also very known. Like how people say Qtex for all nail polish. I don't know about that. I, I'm I'm not. I don't use nail <laughs> polish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what. You're anyway, about. for the corned beef, we are using corned beef. <laughs> this is the low sodium one so if you you're watching your sodium intake it's good to look for the ones that say that and of course you have your seasonings we do put tomato in there some people may not it's controversial we have onions we have of course garlic we love garlic scallion and sweet pepper yes trendy lioness you see what i have to deal with in and this i'm house? sure you're gonna take out time because time goes very well with corned beef okay great now you can show your thing now all right so we're gonna make the corn dumpling right and it's fried dumpling but we are incorporating a corn element to the fried dumpling and so we're using this latin ingredient which is called well the brand is pan mm -hmm. but it's really cooked cornmeal pre-cooked Corn flour. Corn flour. Or cornmeal. See that? Pretty Listen to me, man. <laughs> when I'm doing my thing correctly. <laughs> okay, sorry, not... chef. Sorry, chef. Sorry, chef. Oh, sure. Sorry. Lord, help us. Yeah, throw it out. Yeah, throw it up on the table. This is pre cooked cornmeal, you guys. So, this is going to be the corn element of the corn dumpling. And of course, we have regular um, all purpose flour. This is the unbleached kind, which is the one that I always buy. 
And because we don't like when you bleach out your face. <laughs> and of course, you know what you put in your, your dumplings usually and put in baking powder. No, you can't say you know what you put because not everybody makes dumplings. So you have to tell them what you put. Don't take it that they know already. Am I not still telling them? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, chef. <laughs> <laughs> baking powder. Salt. A little bit down, and I don't do like not that salt. Buy that, do not buy the salt again, please. <laughs> you guys get sea salt if you're using salt. I'm using some sugar, and not everybody puts sugar in their regular dumplings, but we do. I do. So, yeah, sugar. And because of quarantine, guys, because we are pretty much, you know, not at our optimal in terms of our food shopping you know regular behaviors we are we are using coconut oil in lieu of butter because we have no butter right leave me alone i'm not in it <laughs> i'm just i'm cutting i'm doing the work all right so let's get into the making this corn dumpling you guys oh and we're using milk guess why usually we would use either water or maybe a little bit of almond milk but we got almond milk <laughs> who says the hell in almond milk all of us guys who said almond milk everybody you notice i'm twang in the whole way i'm not talking um my regular patwa who says almond milk everybody oh. says almond milk oh so i'm the only one that says almond milk yeah Nobody oh. else. Look, everybody's gonna say we say. Anybody say almond milk or they say almond milk? Let if, me know what you say. If you say almond milk, say yes. Type yes. If you say almond milk, say no. Nope. All right. See, I'm, I'm telling you, everybody's gonna say yes because they say almond milk. Ah, uh, the L <laughs> is silent. Not just you. Thank you, Emil. I'm Emily. Thank you very much. The L is silent. Nobody says almond milk. Everybody says almond. See? Lashan, you say almond milk? Yes. Because you're a foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> Roxanne Jones, you say almond milk, right? See? Trendy lioness culture. Coffee come in like a rapture. Hey. And everybody get captured. Hey. Please sleep up like a helicopter. When, when you see the lyrical doctor. Coffee up in up the temperature. temperature. Be dancing. Dancing. All right, all right, all right. Uh, no, me uh, not sing no more. Uh, coffee, coffee, uh, coffee uh, not agree with me. <laughs> right? Lashan said she talking to herself out loud to figure out if she <laughs> said almond. Oh, or almond well guys for those of you who say almond let me tell you right now you're wrong say it's, almond it's almond milk miss k good morning good morning miss k who have the little measuring cup the measuring cup mm -hmm. let me tell you where you get a measuring cup when you go walmart go around the household section and look for your measuring cup can i go to the cashier and tell them say yeah the belly tell you should i tell them the secret the secret of what? That is the first time I'm making this. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, guys, you're in on the secret. This is my first time making this, so do not build up your expectations. Don't worry about it. She's the <laughs> dumpling queen. <laughs> All right, so I'm using one cup of the. Oh, and let me sift it because I'm I, I'm in on a secret about making dumpling too. If you want your dumpling to be light and fluffy, you want to sift it. And cause... incorporate ear. Oh, I taught you something. Hmm. You taught me. Yeah, I taught you. Yes, you, you did. <laughs> you understand? Me have to make sure to tell her that she taught me something, or else we're not problem. All right, so I'm sifting my one cup of the, pl the flour, the all-purpose flour. And guys, buy unbleached flour if you can. Because you don't want them to put bleach in the floor. Because we don't like bleach face people. <laughs> oh boy. Now them are bleach. Them are bleach out them skin. Them are bleach. They, they look, look like, like a browning. browning. All right. So let me just do and some camera you? work. So she's so she's now <laughs> sifting. You hear, you hear that word eh? Yeah. Sifting. And if you notice, comfortably, and I can force it through, but naturally you have some um, hard... Sediments. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That won't go through naturally, so I'm not putting that in there. 
And then I'm using one cup of the pan also, which is the corn. And guys, this is one of the reasons why we decided to use the pan today. A lot of us may very well shop in supermarkets, um, Latin supermarkets, and we have seen this item on the shelf and we may not have used it because we're not familiar with it. And so I thought to myself, yeah, the Belly TV, you're in quarantine. You might end up have to just use pan alone. So start learning how to use new things. You understand? So that is why we're doing it. Sean said, I had tough dumplings the other day. It needs to be sifted and needed more. <laughs> yes, madam. Yes, madam. Or you needed to have ordered your dumpling from the dumpling queen. <laughs> you understand? $10 a dozen. So, how much a dozen you sell a dumpling for, sweet? Hmm? Um, see, $10 a dozen. $10 a dozen? No, that's too dear. That too dear, $5 a dozen. But then it's got amount to $10 anyway, because you're not going to need meat to eat the dumpling with. So, ha ha. <laughs> mm, all right. So, I'm now putting in my baking powder. Hallelujah. And I'm putting in one whole tablespoon. Right? Right. <laughs> Hope it's not too much. Yeah, one tablespoon. And remember, guys, when you're using corn um meal or corn flour the rising is gonna be a little bit retarded it's not gonna rise as much as if you were using plain flour well let me put more no you, you, okay. well me no no i don't know you're the dumpling queen just a tad bit more good morning to marjorie good morning to you gina good morning gina and for the salt, you guys, I can't tell you how much to put because everybody have different dietary preferences and needs. So but like how you're using that, that salt, don't put that much. This is about a teaspoon. Yeah, one I've teaspoon. I had my list of things I already... <laughs> I want already. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's have our list of things that you want. Yeah. Including curry oxtail. <laughs> 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 and I'm putting two spoonfuls of the, the light brown sugar. It's brown sugar, but it's the light brown Organic. Let them know. Sugar. Yeah, let me Organic show you. This sugar. is from Aldi. Shout out to Aldi. I don't know why I'm shouting them out. Good morning, Debbie L. But good morning to Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Aldi. Guys, anybody out there know any supermarket chain that can sponsor us? Mm. Because we need sponsors. Yeah, right can now. you imagine if they sponsor us in this pandemic? They just have to give us all the groceries that we need for the morning for plus the month. a five hundred dollar already. <laughs> 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 That's all, nothing big. <laughs> no man, you're you're bad at the people. They know they won't go broke for that. They will not go broke. All right, so we use the unrefined, cold pressed virgin coconut oil. This what again. If, what, if she, what, if, what if it loses virginity? <laughs> then it's tainted and I cannot use it. And this again is Aldi's brand. It looks like Aldi going to be this for a supermarket of choice for the, for the sponsorship. Yeah, let's call them and tell them. Yeah. Tell them it's not up for negotiation. And for some reason, it is on the hard side, like semi hard, not fully liquidy, not fully. Um, hardened so i'm using and that's let me tell you why it's on the semi-hard side why because coconut oil it congeals at anything above room temperature so if the the temperature is a little bit higher than room temperature the coconut mm. oil will congeal and go like into a paste oh, okay okay and you can also guys use coconut oil in instead of butter if you want to put something on your bread so you can you can put a, a bottle of coconut oil in your refrigerator and once it goes it congeals then you can use it instead of butter to butter your bread. Mm -hmm. All right. You hear them healthy tips there. Oh you're not saying nothing about them healthy tips there when we just give. All right, so what we have over here now is I have the onion and I have so garlic and i have some green um, bell pepper there 
and I'm just gonna quickly cut these tomatoes and I, I got these tomatoes in um, Publix and it was unspecial so I bought them you know no it's good it's good so now I'm just adding and I'm not using more than two tomatoes right babe Alright, alright. Alright, I'm wondering about something. Should I slightly warm the milk? You could if you want to. Again, there's no hard and fast. And guys, this is one of the things that I like when I'm cooking and, and I'm, that's about my channel as well. I, I hardly stick to a, a written menu because it is so much easier to wing it. And winging it, winging it is not necessarily because we are um you know um novices. novices or anything it's because we want you to understand that in your home you make the dish how you want it to be nobody has to dictate how the dish turns out and it lives up to your funny and big question mantra right 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 so we have these stuff ready to go we're waiting on the queen bee the dumpling queen to queen b you know queen d <laughs> the dumpling queen i'm just joining what did i miss hey vil you did not miss much vil we're still in the prep stage yeah Tell we're still in our dumpling recipes all right we have we have okay i have some stuff here let me show you i have tomato i have onion i have scallions and garlic and i have red bell pepper that we will be making into a, a dish, you know, and we're gonna be doing some some um, corn beef, all right? The Jamaicans call it bully beef, but it's really corn beef, all right? And that is gonna be our stuffing for our dumplings that we have the, 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 the dumpling mix here that the wife is making. And this is gonna be fried dumpling um stuffed with corned beef and we have another ingredients already ready fanny may good morning to you, you lauderdale fort lauderdale's in the house south florida is in the house hey baby baby come on baby baby come on baby baby come on you ready now yes go ahead girl all right so we have a whole cup of milk Hold on, hold on, stop the press. Hold on. What? Something missing. Oh my lord. Something yes. very, very seriously missing. Oh, oh, but find it, but find it. Sorry. Oh. This was the most important thing on the vlog this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you. You okay? You can continue now. Oy. You think you're funny? What? <laughs> Any oh you miss the key for the bully beef. Mm -mm, it That's it. Help. Creativity, not wing. I understand. I understand. Trendy. And and guess what? Trendy. We have a vegan version of our stuffed dumpling this morning. So don't go anywhere. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, not really. She what? She would have to leave out the milk. No. Oh, yeah. Leave or out the milk. Leave. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Use almond milk. Oh, Lord. My heartbeat just go, go up a while ago. Your heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, my heartbeat just got race. Alright, so I have a cup of milk and I slightly warmed the milk. I don't know if that's gonna be a good or a bad thing. It can and be a good thing. Because usually when we use the corn, the corn, what do you call it? Cooked corn? The pre cooked corn, we usually use hot to warm um, milk with it. But now we have flour included, so you can't just go ham with, you know, totally hot water because it won't work. And, in, and, and Amelie May says the, 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 thing, the, the, um, the key go missing so quick. It's true. Let me tell you something. When you buy corned beef, you have to ensure that a tin is there, a, a key is there, or else you, if you ever get caught by one of them corned beef tin, you're caught for life. <laughs> All Christmas, you still have the cut by your hand if the corned beef tin I ever cut you. It's, I mean, it's a serious thing. I think it's a conspiracy. You notice, because spam, spam tin don't cut. You understand? Mm -hmm. Spam tin not cutting only, only corned beef tin. 
But uh, what are they trying to say? For my ladies out there, make sure if cooking dumpling is on the agenda for the day that you don't have nail polish on your fingers because you don't want people eating chips of nail polish chips of nail polish and and if you have dirt underneath your fingernail yeah so. well and you can wash the dirt but this is my wife she has been my wife for the past 20 odd years so if dirt is under her fingernail i'm eating it <laughs> yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> Hey God. Hey Barrington Christian. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Barrington in the house. <laughs> Where's Barrington from, by the way? Where Barrington is, is from Canada. Oh really? Yes, sir. Bob. Canada is in the house. Ontario and Mississauga and and all them places. Saskatchewan. Edmonton. Edmonton. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. The name the Saskatchewan. So there is, there is our floor right there. Good morning to Rima Reddix. Good morning to you. It's a beautiful morning and we are, because we are here. Hallelujah. The wife is in the process of making her dumpling, her world famous, first time ever making. <laughs> first time ever making. You know, you're that world famous first time ever. Yeah. We're making first time ever making corn dumpling. Not cornmeal dumpling now. That's different. We're talking about corn dumpling. The texture is totally different from um what do you call it? From regular flour dumpling. Mm -hmm. It feels more dense. Mm -hmm. Because of the cornmeal. All right, that's good. I think you need a little bit more flour to get that 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 little liquidy part at the bottom out. Really? And I just put more <laughs> deliberately put more. Oh, milk. you deliberately did that? Yeah, because. But you wanna clean the pan a little bit, so drop a little flour and let the flour do the wiping. Let the flour do the. Wiping. Yeah, we, guys, we're working we're working on this because we want a break from the regular um you know flour dumpling and we also want to incorporate a little bit of what we find on the shelves in our local supermarket in it as well now the kneading will be a little bit slightly different from the regular so bear with us on that and then what i think you should also do babes once you roll it into a nice little ball you're gonna leave it to rest a little bit quite tired quite tired yeah wow <laughs> <laughs> you have no say. I, I mean, I, I'm the one who have sense in this family, you know. Right. Yeah, I'm the one who have sense. So you're gonna leave it alone now, or are you gonna keep doing it? Keep doing it. Or you want to pr um mi microwave it a little bit? Mm -mm. All right. So I think you should leave it right there then. I'm gonna uh, put a damn thing in on top of it. I don't. I don't. I don't. No. I don't. Please so that's the that's the, the the thing over there. Her dough has been made. Do a dear, a female yeah. hair spray. I think you should use this pot to do the dumpling. Okay. Yeah. Do okay. Far. A long, long way to run. So, so I need to pull it back. La, a note of chord. A note of chord or song. Tea, a drink of jam bread. That will bring us back to do 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 do. Can't get this on laptop only phone. Really? Why come? I'm not sure why. Try cleaning the cookies from your internet browser, then close YouTube, then reopen. Also rebooting. Yeah, we have a tech person on the live. Yes, yes. All right, guys, so we're about to go into the cooking of the corned beef as of right now. All right, let's get going. While I prep the, the space for the, the corned beef cooking, right. we will be doing our sponsorship. So listen out for it. See, we'll be doing okay. All right, guys, so Breakfast Live on a Thursday morning is brought to you by none other than 
one true natural and one true natural is our natural hair product line yes these are the products that we have in the line so far and let me give you a close-up as to what they are we have our shine of mind nourishing oil blend and this is an amazing oil as you can see some of, the, some of the ingredients sweet almond oil jamaican black castor oil grapeseed oil and much more and it is awesome for nourishing the scalp for adding shine for locking in the moisture in your hair and it also is great for a hot oil treatment and it's amazing for the skin because as i said they are all natural organic oils yeah and we have our awesome jamaican black castor oil this is an amazing i cannot stress how great this product is one of the most nourishing one of the most thickening it causes hair growth it is just wonderful it is grown and extracted in the hills of saint mary and it is our saint mary proud farm to shelf product nothing added no additives that's the real deal yeah and oh guys let me tell you if you have not yet subscribed to my channel my hair channel natural hair dynamics is the name and i recently just uploaded a video showing how i you know um treat joshua's color treated here you know using these products the wash day process and all those things so go check that out and we also have our one true natural castor oil mascara this is a brow and lash growth and thickening treatment it has the one a typical mascara wand that you use to apply to your brows and your lashes and i've been getting rave reviews that this thing actually works to grow back people's um sparse lashes and if you guys would like to order it as a gift set for any occasion it's also available you get a little you know free gift also included and yeah you can order these products on my website at etsy.com slash shop slash one true natural the link is on my instagram and in the one true natural box. and in the description box of, of this, this video. video so once again you guys the sponsor for this morning's breakfast live is say let me hear you <laughs> one true mm. natural, natural. <laughs> all right back to the food all right so so i have about three tablespoons of coconut oil in this pan and i'm just sauteing my vegetables real quick and as i said guys this is going to be the stuffing for our dumplings we still don't know how we're going to stuff the dumpling in yet but this is going to be the stuffing and so we're just quickly sauteing this up and there is the corned beef And I like my corned beef a little bit on the drier side. I don't like when you just, when it, the whole thing just turns to mush. So, yeah, let me turn the, the flame down a little. Alright, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Alright. Now guys, we always try to give some type of encouragement to all those guys who are all the folks who watch us. And we want you to be encouraged this morning. You know, wherever you are, whatever you're facing. Some people are facing, you know, the loss of loved ones. Some people are financially strapped right now. Me. <laughs> <laughs> You mean the finance are beat you? <laughs> a real strap. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of um, apple cider vinegar. Thanks, Rima. Just a little bit. And, oh, Barrington said don't add no water. You <laughs> get. You take telling. Yeah, mama take telling. <laughs> add a little ketchup. 
Mm. And then that's a little ketchup. It's a little ketchup because we now have no ketchup. There's ketchup in the cupboard if you want. Okay. And guys, we want this to stay a little bit on the drier side because we're going to be stuffing it in the dumplings. And this stuff is to you because you can stuff it as in open the dumpling, put it in there when it's done cooking. Or you can stuff it as in putting it in the dough and frying it up in the dumpling. It's all up to you. I've seen many different ways. Let me see if I have the... A little black pepper and I'm, I'm rushing because I want to get to the piasta resistance and I'm using a little lorries just a little um, and we're ready oh one thing that I didn't use I have to go for it Stachy. yeah turn that down for me baby But, but what you said, coffee, have you never tried the stuffed dumpling? Of course, you got to try. You got to try, you got to try. Gina say yes, Laurie's. Laurie's is the truth, right? Laurie's <laughs> is the truth. The truth, the truth. And guys, I always put my, my scotch bonnet in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So we can just use a little bit, we don't have to use that much. Because the wife didn't really like it. So we just I use a little bit. If I could manage it, I would like it, but mm -hmm. I can't manage it. So right. I, I so that's why I'm not use so much. You know, I just I use a little bit of it. Because she don't like it, you know, so I'm not really want to force it, force it uh, you know, and thing. Because she don't really like it. So. A heart of worship. Just a little Good bit, me use. Just, to you. just a little bit. Because she don't really like it, so I'm going to use all it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Barrington said, don't put any seasoning salt. It's already salty. Yeah, yes, Barrington. We, we salt, I know. I reduced sodium one may I used to. Mm. So, you know, so. I love Laurie's. You just have to be careful because it's salty. Well, yep. That's Shauna James saying that. True, Shauna. True, true, true. True Bill word. said that. Hold on there. That is not a little bit. <laughs> you have time, Bill. Yeah, you know what? I did not even respond. I did not right, even so respond. We, we, to that. <laughs> we corned beef is there. It's ready. Um, what did I miss from the corned beef? Did I miss anything? Are we good to go? Ketchup. More ketchup? No need no more ketchup, to see man. Corned beef. The title said stuffed corn fried dumpling. I was expecting corn kernel. <laughs> In the flour dough. Hush. No. <laughs> we use corn. Cooked. Pre-cooked corn. Pre-cooked corn. Yeah. Pre-cooked corn meal. Yeah. So. <laughs> Alright. So that's it. We are done with our, our corned beef. We're going to be going over now to the wifey as she will get ready for do the dumpling all right wait wait one sec one sec oh and guys i need to show you this which is my kale cabbage and um kale cabbage and carrots with a little bit of saltfish yeah Okay then, it looked too far. That's a vegetarian version. <laughs> as close to it as possible. Alternative. <laughs> All right. So now we have we're gonna be putting this one on, and we have a little oil here. She's she'll dictate how much oil she's gonna use. All right. Yeah. Save me some. We'll pass by later. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So guys, remember, safe out there. And, and let me tell you something. Don't don't allow them for paranoid, get on a paranoid. Don't allow yourself to become paranoid, all right? Um, it's important to understand. I have a question to ask. Has anybody seen where any mad person, person of unsound mind, 
has contracted the disease. How would they know? They know how mad people. Well, <laughs> I mean, me I wonder how mad people live outside and them not get sick. Something not really, you know? That's yeah, that's good. The thing about it is, I want to say is, we have to be careful that we don't lock ourselves away and cause our immune to get weakened by the fact that we are not in we're not involving our we're not we you call the word see at one with we're not outside with the in the nature allowing our bodies to you understand run right we are we are being told to stay in our house and wear masks and isolate ourselves and listen by bi 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 biologically when you do something like that you are, your immune system says to your body your brain you're okay you're safe and it relaxes and when you relax and end up stepping outside for any minute or any you get sick let me give you an example if you ever open the door like you're like rain falling and you and you open the door and push your head outside immediately you get sick why because your body is not not acclimatized to the rain so when you slack in the house and don't go outside and, and have mask on 24 hours a day you really and truly um incubating yourself or isolating yourself from the very elements that builds your immune system your body is made up of um of um um you know little what you call them um viruses and and organisms and them whole or something they have to be careful you see me so i'm just saying it from the level where take precaution yes but don't overdo it and then stress wise free up your brain because if you if you get too paranoid about this thing, like, like like if I watch the TV for the entire day, guys, by the end of the evening, me feel sick. Yeah, you watch the news and the the, the whole heap talking about this and the whole heap thing about it and the whole heap something coming at you. By the end of the evening, me feel sick and start up. Watch, watch me. Come here, say, hold on, me me a fever. Hold on. Nothing wrong with me, but the paranoia set in and you start to get nervous. You see me? So I'm saying it to you guys. Be careful of what you allow in your brain. What you allow to, to step inside of your mind and make you become paranoid to the point where you start to get all nervous. You see me? Vic, Vic says, and if you are sons and daughters of God, how can you be scared? The truth is, boy... Some people out there, it, it, it's scary. It's scary. Worse when you see the amount of controversial and, and um, what you call them, what you call the word now, see? Conspiracies, we are going on and the whole heap of theories and them thing there. You know, Michibu, unforgettable. Thank you so much for that donation. We appreciate you, girl. You're a good girl, you know. You know how to do the thing. Thank you, Michibu. You know, thank you so much. So we have to be careful of what we allow to affect us. Let me tell you, I get I for the I I was doing so well with my exercising and thing. Come here, try to avoid this thing, you know, this this big belly thing and this high blood pressure thing. And the doctor said to me, You remember guys, in January I come and I said the doctor says I have reverse diabetes and all these things. Me miss you too, girl, miss you too. You know? And coronavirus, coronavirus jumping from the thing February, late February. And guys, immediately me start to say, well, my family and we have to protect myself and lock up in the house. <coughs> now, if anybody, and unless you are them superhuman people where I say I do exercise in a them living room, regular people don't do that. All these girls in a some, in a some letters and some little tin clothes and some big chest man, some thick man pan, in a them living room and I don't want two or three, and I don't want two or three. Regular people not do that. Regular people go up on them couch and watch the TV with the remote and a big glass of juice. So, I find myself right there. So, get scared. Don't want to go outside. Get scared. Don't want to mix with people. And I sit down and I say, but you know, say this thing is not right. This thing is not right, you know. Then me start drop asleep again after me eat me a drop asleep. That never happened. All of that stopped, you know, guys. All of that used to, it was happening and it stopped. Then it started happening again. And I start saying, no, no, no. This thing I get away. 
I started getting up and going outside in the backyard at first, spend some time and then I started. And one morning I just get fed up and decide to walk. And that morning, ladies and gentlemen, I walked four miles. I had on a mask, yes, but halfway through the walk in the mask get wet cause sweater, sweater blind me. The mask got wet and I just took it off and just start walking. Obviously I didn't walk with people. I didn't go where people are, I just walk. And I felt so good. I said, no man, I have to reverse this. I cannot allow myself to get sick. I cannot allow myself to get to the point where I was. Corona or no Corona. And so I've been walking. I've been out there doing my thing, you know, um, keeping my distance, yes. Because again, you want to, if, if other people are not woken, you can't force them for weak. That you're, you're doing more damage. Than good. You just have to do, do play your part and see what happens and come uh, what comes out as a result of it. But guys, take make use of your time. Exercise. Stop eating the fast food. Let me tell you one big thing when we see a go on. <laughs> the, the food's soon ready. Don't worry about it. The food's okay, soon ready. Okay. When you're ready, because I'm done. Okay. okay. Let me tell you when we see a go on. Some big trickery I go on. Let me show you. I see an advertisement come on that says people are out of job. Me have to do it. See, come, come here. Me need the help. You have to do the, the music part, like a slow music. Like, you know, do that. People are out of a job. Carpenters and painters, they need your help. Hire a painter today to paint the outside of your house. This message is brought to you by your favorite paint company. Get them working right now. -na -na. You see the trick? Look on the trick now. Painters need work. So I have a painter for paint the outside of your house. What do you think them are doing? I know painter them are look for work. I sell them or I sell paint. So people are profit off of this thing and I use people as the scapegoat for sell them product. Hear, hear this one. Hear this next one. Come again with the next music. Na, 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 na. Restaurants have closed down. Na, 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 na. Struggling to make a living. Na, 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 na. You can help them today by getting your food delivered. Na, 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 na. Delivery free from your favorite delivery company. Go get your food right now. We'll deliver it to you. Nah. Who I make the money? <laughs> I know a restaurant them I try help. At the delivery company, I use restaurant to get more delivery. Come we, we have to be smart. They might try trick with. <laughs> you understand? That's the thing. We have to be careful what we are doing in this time because a whole heap of people coming up with some tricks. All right? So... Put in the dumpling, my girl. I want to show them something. You see, when you use the corn, the corn, the pre-cooked cornmeal, this is a way denser. It's very dense. You, you see, you can't even move the um, the dough. But not like how you flash the dumpling, no, my girl. Yeah. <laughs> so it's different. So don't put in all of them, you know. Put the leave out couple. Make sure we can stuff it, the, um, the corned beef before we finish. I don't know how you're gonna do that because this is very dense. It, it not look like it's all going work. So you want to you want roll have it. You use two different you, layers and put one and put, over yeah. the other. You want to roll it then a little bit thinner and try that, that method. You mean the stuff method? Yeah, like roll it. Guys, you need we need your help on this one. Because we could just stuff the... the, the Alright, let me, let me give you the background of this. When we are making a ray pass, which is just the corn flour, it's a, it's a, a legitimate dish, a ray pass. Um, what you do is you make it like this. You don't fry it. You toast it on the on the oven uh, on the stove because the 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 what you call it because the flour the, the cornmeal is already cooked. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes, Michibu a rape us. <laughs> it's a it's a Latin. <laughs> <laughs> Michibu is a rape what? <laughs> So. When you're making the arepas, you don't put it in oil. We are using this to, to mimic um, like a, a Johnny cake. All right. Um, and so what we're doing here is we're making fried dumplings. 
because we're using the coin, it is very hard to man to manage this to, to maneuver the, 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 the thing. So we, we are gonna cook them, then slice it open and make like a sandwich. I am gonna experiment with making it stuffed and frying it stuffed. So that's where that's where right, we're gonna so go. With the rolling pin and then All right. So hold this, let me grab the Roman pin for a sec. So why are you talking like that? After two on you, so grab the pin. Really like, right, I'm gonna really use the, the pot water again, you know. Me really I come <laughs> No I'm man, it's a real thing, Mitchibo. A real pass is a real thing. Look it up. A R A P A S a real pass. Where is the rolling pin? So all the way in the back. I am seeing it. At the top here? Okay, At the back. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I don't want these to get too brown, guys. You know, this is one time the, the darkness not really work out. This is the one only one and only time I'm not for the dark people. I like the light people. The light dumpling. So like a repass. <laughs> Lord of mercy. <laughs> Alright. Now come there. All right, peoples, and because half of the dough is already pre-cooked, it's not going to take as long as our traditional um, fried dumpling would because it's mixed with both the pre-cooked cornmeal and the flour. So it cooks pretty much quicker than the regular flour would. Yes, yes, yes. We don't feel no way. Eh, eh. And guys, can you go ahead and give us a thumbs up for this breakfast? Because we're trying to put out some different stuff for you guys. I mean, we have our traditional Jamaican food that we can cook every day, but we choose to step out of the box and to try to get creative. So give the big chef, not me, the big <laughs> chef, give the big chef a thumbs up. Give him a thumbs up. Give him a thumbs up. All right. Let me see. I don't want it to get... Okay, it's fine. See? This is how... This is typically how the arepas would look in terms of color. They do not cook it for long, so it doesn't get very dark at all. But I have to cook mine a little bit longer because raw flour not pretty. <laughs> you see me? <laughs> yeah, you can't consume raw flour. You were buying... There's no such a... <laughs> we must stop the, the, the show. Okay, you will constipate it. You get constipate it. You you get get constipate. Constipate. <laughs> for my non Jamaican people, my apologies. I'm sorry. I just take it for granted that everybody understands the lingo and the terminology, but my bad. <laughs> lardy, lardy. What you think about doing the dumpling with sweet whole kernel corn? fried on the inside of it something different always always no respect and thumbs up i would do that i would do that i would even put the i would even put the the sweet corn in the actual dough too yeah you know the, the thought actually crossed my mind this morning about the dough putting it in the dough but yeah we just we, we've tried that we'll definitely try that another time sweet corn dumpling that would be pretty cool you put them in the oven now and finish it <laughs> you must me come with. <laughs> if you I ever see that what that I'm coming with peppers and onion. okay trendy lioness Corn and garlic peppers and onion. How did you do it with the corn and the garlic and the pepper and the onions? How did you do it? Let me know. Tell me. Amelie says, oh my God, speaking of arepas and South American food, you guys in South Florida have a place called Milano's Argentinian Bakery near Tamarack. Try the empanadas. Super good. Oh, really? You know, we have a list of places that we um need to try out so we're gonna definitely add that to it it's called milano's thank you for that heads up um amelia or amelie <laughs> hey, talk, no, talk about empanadas talk about empanadas 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> he did that real quick. Talk about empanadas, guys. So That's I just stuffed with what? With corned beef. Oh, but you have to wait though. Sorry. The child, she just a rush. <laughs> he's excited, but he still has to wait until the, the pot gets free up. You know, free up yet. Free up, day. Free up. It's soon finished, you know. I'll make a try to do one more so that. um. Yeah, he's always on camera so they can see how you do it. Like, you guys, sure? are, I'm, yeah. I'm always scared, you know. No, guys, let, sh let us show you how he does. They all know that this man is, a, is an experiment, so they, they understand. So, guys, you just put some flour down. And you start to roll and to maintain the to maintain the pretty of the thing you keep turning it so that it does sorry about that guys totally sorry about that yes we apologize for that break just now all right where was I, I all right so we put the water and then we just take our our uh, egg lifter and the egg lifter does it the best because you know and then you use your fork sorry about that break guys yeah appreciate the the color Sean and you just crimp use your fork to crimp the edge And you know how you make Jamaican patty, the same type of way. All right. So you just crimp the edge, and then I just use my little knife to sort of cut away and make it nice. Wow. <laughs> you look like a pro. And make it neat. And you have it right here. Not even want to force and take it up. Yeah, you just have it right there. See? Ta ta da! Yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. More, more AJ says so she, she missed what was put in the empanada. All right, I'm gonna make one more. Because we had a break in transmission. So let me make one more. Anyway. And it's three away in the house. So we have one more. All right, guys. So let's start again. You take your. Your flour, you put your flour down, you take your, your dough and you you start to roll. I'm all up in the sun. You start to roll. And you turn, keep turning so that you don't um, lose your shape. All right. Guys, you know who are gonna make empanada for next week or something like that. No, real empanada now. Hmm? You see? Mm -hmm. Alright, so you keep rolling. Let me turn this over. Let me flip it one time. Alright. So once you've gotten to that that stage, and you there there are there are empanada makers where you can buy and do the same thing. You press it down and fold it and everything. So they have done it easy for you but again we're just doing our thing here and then you just put your filling in see me all do it now like my professional now put in your filling make sure your edges are clean so you don't overfill you know are we seeing everybody seeing yeah all right then you take your brush with your water and you just dab your brush on the edges to make sure that you wet it so that you can seal it properly. All right. And then you take your egg lifter and you just fold him over. Make sure you get edge on top of edge. Right, clean a clean cut fold and once you get that done you just grab your fork and you proceed to crimp crimp the edges 
and guys again first me ever do this in my life so all the professional empanada makers and pastry chef and all of those persons please don't come for me all right and then you just grab your your little knife or if you have a pizza cutter could use that and you just clean up and there you have it I've done it for the thrice time <laughs> now to see how they hold up this is the thing now to see how they hold up um, on the fire that's the big thing right there you see how they hold up you ready now girl all right let me see how we're gonna do this because i don't wanna i don't wanna to lift them up you know here you go hmm? take oh. off So some stuff in really did go on, you know. We never, we never misconstrue the stuff in. Tanya Johnson, good morning to you. Pick up yourself, girl. Yes, man. Oh Lord, them look good. Mm -hmm. Remember, don't don't go too close. It may be overheating. Me notice that Joshua come out of class early today. Mm -hmm. Joshua reached before the food. Good Cheers. morning. Joshua in the house. What you guys saw him get white? <laughs> After eight weeks in the house, he, he straight up became a white man. Wow. Um when my mom would bake plantain tarts with this same concept, she would poke a few holes. With the fork, so it can um... release some of the pressure. Okay. So you want to do that? Too? No, because baking different. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Yeah, mustache. I think I'm baking pregnant. is different. Michi, oh, come on. <laughs> Just a mustache. We can't take it for real. Need some sunlight. Yeah, we had to literally take him out the house yesterday, man. One to build him immune system, and two to get him some vitamin D natural vitamin d from the sun because it's white thing i don't know about it <laughs> <laughs> yes joshua pass the pot that you make and it's slow, it's slow cooking which is good you don't want it if it the fire too high it's gonna just get dark real quick and the insides don't cook or soak Oh, guys, let me show you the outcome of the dumplings that are the corn dumplings from earlier. This is what they look like way thinner than normal. Yeah, and it's just a totally different um, texture and consistency than regular fried dumpling. Yes, and this is healthier than regular flour dumpling because it's not, you know, fully um, just flour dumpling it has a corn in there so the roughage mixed with the, the processed flour help for balance it out so it's a little bit healthier than just regular fried dumpling all right you can do when frying but if the filling is running yeah that's that's a, that's a concern joshua hold this i need to turn these yeah you hear, she's excited about that? Yeah, if you uh, <laughs> if the filling run out and then the the oil and the filling merge, it might be disastrous. So I don't think I would want to break these, but I get the concept when it's baking. Yes. Don't stop for. Oh, 
we put in the comments? I don't see. Someone gave two dollars. Yeah, I must say that. <laughs> <laughs> you would have to see that somebody gave two dollars, right? <laughs> That's Michi Boo. That's that Michi Boo time. Thank you, Michi Boo. <laughs> So that is um, we're almost there. How much minutes is the video so far now? One hour, seven minutes. What? We've been past an hour? We've been past an hour? Are you kidding me? Guys, we're over time. Oh, guys, we never knew we passed one hour already. So we might have to do the play thing now. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? It's not every day that we go over an hour. Sometimes it's going to happen. This is live, a live show. So. What happens if you yeah. go over an hour? It, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it happens on experiment days when we're experimenting and <laughs> stuff. Thank you. Well, she gave me two more dollars. <laughs> she said, get some more sunlight. Shapia <laughs> 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 Joshua. Why? No. <laughs> Can I be Josh right now? He just has to sit and wait for the food to be done. <laughs> I need something to catch this. Catch? Mm -hmm. Why should I use some word in my life, you see? Alright. Prop it up. Oh my gosh. I can't read any words. Just okay, in. babe, you want to start? Okay, when you're done, we'll start stuffing these, like splitting them. You're doing two different things. Yeah. No man, save one for real. Looks yummy. Oops. That's bad overcooked. You want to turn on the stove? I'm not turning on the stove. You know when you come and feed it this <laughs> In the kitchen, the Trendy lionesses looking real nice. Mm, thank Thanks, you. guys. Josh, make sure you can cook. You can't read low down. <laughs> you know I can cook already. Cause you don't want no gal. Dex the daps. What? what is that? What is Pies that? You don't want a gal pies you. A singer. There's a Jamaican <laughs> DJ named Dex the daps. We sing both both pies and the woman the most pies and the man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So tell them why you cook now, Josh. You, you claim you can cook. What have you cooked? Rice. I made breakfast like uh, like last week or something oh, okay. on the live. And I made. Oh, yeah. Tell me to go so she missed the one that we make breakfast. I made breakfast last week. I made waff pancakes. And um, and sausage and sausage and American food. Yeah. <laughs> Follow me. We left one. I know it's not done. Good morning. All right, see, so grab a knife and start splitting. Start splitting them. Use a small sharp knife. Use use one from this one again. Where? From the knife block. Oh, no, 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 no. Second one. Thank you, Roxanne Jones, for the $5. Thank you, Roxanne. Roxanne, Roxanne. She don't remember them songs. They don't know them songs. Roxanne, <laughs> Roxanne. Roxanne, Roxanne. All she want to do is bring I want to be now. your man. Alright, so this is how we split in this because this was the initial thought to stuff the 
the fried dumpling so we would just um, split it in the middle and then stuff it with whatever you want to stuff it with in our case we have the cabbage and kale and we have corned beef so yeah don't quite open it leave it like pac-man yeah so i'm cutting it but i'm not cutting it all the way so it's still attached you should put corned beef and cheese you can add cheese This is the thing with this, you know, you can stuff it with whatever. whatever you so See? Want. You can do whatever you like. Yeah. Yeah. Eat your cheese. Do not eat it. Whatever you want, you can do it. Alright, so. Stop. 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 You broke my thing. I'm sorry. I don't mean to that break it. That thing is burning. It's not burnt. Turn Chuck. it. Turn it off. <laughs> the fry it off. You have to show the stuffing process. The whole thing. And nothing but the thing. So this is all so the stuffing. So help me God. I'm starving right now. <laughs> AJ, Osh. <laughs> And now he's gonna stuff one of it with the kale and the cabbage. I got burnt, man. Who burned you? The oil. Oh, but as long as I know me. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, what is this? It definitely that. don't take one from men. So you could not have burned me. Oh, <laughs> nice. So see, see how the filling just protrudes. That that's the idea that we were going for. So we just stuff, stuff dumpling. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm All right. Yeah. This since this fallout. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make you say bop bop wifey bop 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 <laughs> bop gonna take but from nobody. <laughs> Make you don't encourage her. Make you start the foolishness. Yes, AJ, to you have to try this. Make sure you try it with the um. Oh, you need to cut one of these, baby. I'm gonna. Make sure you try it with the the corn the palm the corn flour. Pan. Oh, pan, not palm. <laughs> Send me some. Do you know? Send the address and we send you some. And let me, I'll grab, I have to grab another little plate. Ooh. Who's taking the first bite? <laughs> I love how the two of you enjoy cooking together. Thanks, Shauna. He got me interested. I was not interested before. <laughs> <laughs> May I need a trench? <laughs> Oh, 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 wrench. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm. Jesus. Tell you now, when you not come here, the belly. Dana gave five dollars. Yay! Thank you, Dana. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dana. And thank you. How that look? Hmm? How that look? Roxanne, and thank you, Michibu. You guys are so thoughtful. We appreciate love it. God bless you all. We do not take it for granted. Like, not seriously. at all. You would not know. <clears throat> awesome. Awesomeness. The coffee's kitchen jealous. Don't eat no breakfast and watch it. <laughs> coffee are the worst thing you can do. On Thursdays. Let me tell you what you guys need to do on a Thursday morning, right? Make your cup of coffee or your tea and just and get to no head. food ready and eat with us yeah so you can just do your little snacking or you're eating while you watch mm -hmm. for your super chat mm -hmm. oh she used to meet me with say thanking dana for her super chat jealous okay i'm hungry now tanya <laughs> tanya say i'm hungry now 
You guys have a lot of patience. I would have already eaten at least two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, patience is a virtue that I definitely need and have. But Joshua is really struggling to wait. Joshua, try <laughs> one of the empanadas. Because okay. these plates are going to be for, for um, thumbnail. So try one okay. and let me know. You can break it. I can break. Do, you, do a close up on him breaking it, see? Do a close up on him breaking it. Yeah. And then try it. Make him try it. Mm -hmm. The first. <laughs> it's hot? It's not that hot, Joshua. Stop, stop. You know you're not that hot. <laughs> Give us your your review. Tastes good. Tastes good. What was it? Tastes like corned beef in the empanada. Mm hmm. It tastes sweet a little. Mm, that's the the sugar from the um dumpling dough that was added. So. But it's good though. You can't eat, right? This yeah. First bite is Joshua approved. I was gonna put cheese. You can put cheese. All right, babes. You 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 take a piece of the one that Joshua has. I like onion. Huh? I like onions. Is it super hot? It's, mm -hmm. spicy. it's good. I'm tired of this reaction because I'm always <laughs> thinking people don't believe me. It's good, man. It's good? Mm -hmm. Awesome sauce. Mm. Awesome. Try it. Someone said peel a tomato and make a rose and put it in the middle. Oh. You know what I would put in mine? Fried plantain. Yeah. I love fried plantain with corned beef. I bet you're buying that, though. Who's it? It's Michi Boo. Oh, Michi Boo. <laughs> Michi Boo. Michi Boo, I have skills. Michi Boo, draw me out. I don't know how to peel to me out on them something, the Michi Boo. I don't know how to do these things. Who tell us let me know how to do them something here? Yeah? I mean, it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. Eh. Mm 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 it could have been done with sardine. It could have been done with mackerel, liver, you name it, anything. Sure. It doesn't it, work. It no work. Wait. Island Shaker Little. But you can watch it again from the beginning when we're done. Just rewatch it from the. <laughs> See, look at the roast. You have to rewatch it. It looks good. It looks like a roast to me. It won't. It won't. That rose they want want something. Oh look, Michibu. Don't Michibu. That rose they want a dose of something. It wants something. Put something in the middle. Like what? Mm. I think it looks good. No man, it looks good. Well, that's breakfast life for today. So we have these um corn fried dumpling. We done some empanada style and some of them we did by just frying and splitting it and stuffing it with corned beef and the other one is some stir fried cabbage and kale. And yeah, breakfast for the morning, breakfast line. Mm -hmm. Hey, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Let me give you a 360. Hi, 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 hi. Um, first time seeing you guys. Everything looks great. I wish I was there. Lady Warrior. Thank you, Lady Warrior. Thank you so much. Wish you were here too. Trust me. Definitely we wish some of you guys could uh, could experience you know, some of these. Cool. Yeah. Maybe when things open up back, we'll make one person come taste breakfast every morning, every Thursday. 
We need a taste tester. Well, I don't know who will wash up all of these plates, but I'm sorry for you now. Mm -mm. I'm going to my room The now. last time it was me. I'm going to my room. And since I was the main chef today. No, you don't have to pay me all Watch these. Watch out, Joshua, run down lock up. Watch out, Joshua, run lock the door. Them no, you don't have to pay me. No, I can't be cooking and then wash up. No, sir, you don't have to pay me. That's not right. <laughs> Awesome thumbnails, right? Yes. So it's 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 almost one and a half hour, you guys. So we definitely have to end the video right now. Thank you guys for watching. This is some of them that we didn't split yet. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for sharing with us. Thank you guys for thank you for your suggestions and your input. We appreciate. Yeah, Every last one. Cooked with us yeah, this everybody, you know, putting them them like a two cents and thing and thing and thing. So even the person who had called us out about the stuffing part, we we kind of altered it and did it, you know, with more of a stuffing vibe mm -hmm. with the empanada. Good. So yeah, thank you for that. Debbie L, big up yourself. All right, so we're gonna call it quits right now. But remember, guys, if you are on, if it's your first time on, or if you are on and you'd never ever hit subscribe, please do hit subscribe because this is just a glimpse as to what Yardy Belly has to offer. We do videos on a regular, and you don't want to miss out on that. So hit the subscribe and the notification bell, and yeah. And we could have all go live this evening if we have the time, if we feel late. Right. So thank you guys for watching and see you again next time. Remember to live and laugh. Cook and eat. Cook and eat. Yeah, you're the belly kitchen, Tessa. Mitchell Booster, put the rose after you take the pick. <laughs> and use it on the other plate when you take in the pick. Okie dokie. Oh, okay. Will do most definitely. Thank you guys for letting me in your home. God bless you. Thank you, Bill Herdock. Herlock. All right. Side. So, bless you guys, and we will talk to you another time. Peace. <laughs>